right. All right, guys, so I'm here in Oxfordshire. Obviously, it's not the right way round, but um, over there is Berkshire. Over here is Henley. So just on the bridge here, the other way is uh, Berkshire. So let's go and do a little bit of a history walkabout, shall we? Let's go. Right, so we're going to go over into Henley and we're going to be crossing the uh, current Henley Bridge. It's the only way that you can actually get into Henley from Berkshire. And it took four years to build, this bridge. It took four years to build. And it was built in April 1786. Before that, it was a wooden bridge which was heavily destroyed in the English Civil War. Sure, you know about the uh, Cavaliers and the Roundheads. Cavaliers, they supported the King. The Roundheads supported Parliament and uh, Oliver Cromwell, for example. Um, so, over this side over there, that is where Henley Regatta takes place. This pub, which is just coming up here on my left, is called the Angel. It's been there since the middle of the right, 1750 odd, and it's the only pub in Henley which is actually on the Thames. Lots of swans, lots of ducks, but let's go and uh, have a little scoot about Henley and uh, let's get this history going. <laughs> I love it. Right, so over the bridge from Berkshire into Oxfordshire and into Henley, you come across, the very first thing you see is the Red Lion, which is a coaching inn which has been around since the 1600s. Um, it also had uh, Charles I and also Cromwell that actually stayed here. Um, apparently, King George IV famously is reputed to have eaten 14 lamb chops in one sitting in here. So I'm going to go and have a look inside and just ask if I can just take a few uh, filming and just say doing a tour. But this is a very, very famous pub coaching in here in Henley. Let's go and have a look. Oh, yeah, the, the lovely kind lady at the desk has allowed me to film the bar area, which is fair enough in itself. But... Is that him? <laughs> One absolutely beautiful thing. And um, just next to the uh, red line, you've got St. Mary's Church. Uh, it was built in the 12th century. Uh, was largely built in the 1400s and um, made further alterations. Uh, obviously, there's something going on, whether that's a wedding, I think, maybe. But apparently, apparently, in the churchyard, there's a memorial to uh, Dusty Springfield, where some of her ashes were placed here because uh, she spent the last few years of her life in Henley. So, shall we go and have a look? Let's go, have a little look. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, can't go in the church yet, but this is the Chantry House, which is um, part of the church itself. This was actually a school in the 1600s. Then it was turned into a granary which actually looked over to the uh, River Thames. So it's just in the back garden of the church. So hopefully I'll be able to go in. But here you go. Thank you. 
No, no, no there's, there's no way I'm going into the actual church of St. Mary. It's a funeral service. By the way, God rest your soul. Let's find some more things to look at in here. Right, consider, if you will, the 1790s, early 1800s. This is the main street which leads you into the main part of Henley. There was a lot of traffic here, horses, carriages, carts, and a lot of coaching inns, which is what we have here. It was absolutely mental. And you can see that these are obviously where they used to stable their horses. You could get coaches or omnibuses into Reading or London from here, but a very, very prosperous place in the sense of this is where they would come for food, lodgings, and things like that. Uh, I'm sure you can see this is the main high street which leads into the town centre. Obviously not like that anymore, but when you look at the buildings, wooden frame, timber frames, you know, flint work, every other thing has a place where horses would have gone. For example, even if we just walk up here, this is private property, but it says private, but horse and carriages would have been brought up here. This is obviously a lodging house in the 1800s. So, let's go and uh, have a look in town. Of course, there's a uh, gold letter box there. That's to commemorate both the gold medals won by Matthew Pinson and Steve Redgrave, who practiced on the Thames just over that bridge over there. So, don't think that's going to be changing anytime soon. Let's get into town. And now we get to the old bell, which is apparently Henley's oldest building. Dates to 1325. And it says that it's haunted by a couple of ghosts. So I'm going to go in again and ask if I can just have a little film. Okay, so this is the oldest building in Henley, built in 1325, and just the oak beams, obviously, tall people beware, <laughs> but it is absolutely stunning. There you go, look at that. Apparently it's haunted, but I need to go the other way to actually see it. All right. Okay, so now we have um, reached the main market square. There's been a market held here every single Thursday since the 1300s. Originally, it was to sell grain, bread, fruits, vegetables that were brought up on the Thames from London. And right above us, coming over here, is the town hall. They've raised the flag. It was flying at half mast, obviously, for the past week. But this is the main market square. So, in front of the town hall is the actual war memorial where every November the 11th people congregate to uh, remember our fallen heroes. So, let's go and have a look at that. And here we are. It says to the proud and glorious memory of the following brave heroes from the borough of Henley-on-Thames who laid down their lives in the Great War 1914 to 1918. Underneath it, the 1939 to 1945 War Memorial to the Fallen. And it's also on the other side over here.
we will remember them uh, inside the actual town hall itself. Look at this. There you go. Let's just take one. Let's take a couple of guys' names. Let's shoot. Uh, there you go. Percy, Leslie Phipps, Oxford and Bucks, Light Infantry, died the 1st of March 1916, age 23. It's just one. It's just one name. That puts it into perspective, doesn't it? Right, so this is Henley. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a lovely place to come and actually see, but be prepared to remortgage your house if you want to eat out or just go for a drink or whatever. So um, on that note, I will see you guys later. Bye for now. Bye.